let's say that the net power is equal to 4.00 t squared plus uh, t watts. And I want to figure out the average work from 0 to 4, or the net amount of work done from 0 to 4 seconds. Work. We have a couple equations for work. We've already talked about the one for a constant force. What is the equation for work with a non-constant force? Mr. Sierra. Uh, uh, Okay, if we're talking about the net work, it would be the net force, true? Net force. Uh, I'm going to put dr because we don't know what direction there, it's just a general equation. Now, do you see the problem? We have power in terms of time, we're looking for work. This is force in terms of position. <coughs> so, let's go back to the definition of power. Power equals the derivative of work with respect to time. And some of you have not seen this before. But don't worry, you're going to see this many times. This is something we can do anytime we have a derivative. We're going to multiply both sides by dt. dt cancels out on this side. Rearrange it, we get dw equals power times dt. We take the integral of both sides. The integral with respect to work is equal to the integral of power with respect to time. And the integral of nothing with respect to work, or the integral of one with respect to work, is what, John? Uh, work. Now, it's a, we're going to talk about a definite integral here, so this is going to work out to be the uh, go from work initial to work final and time initial to time final. So this is the change in work. And we'll do it two steps. The work final minus the work initial equals the integral of power with respect to time. In other words, delta W, the change of work from time initial to time final, is the, um, the change of work is equal to the integral from time initial to time, time final of power with respect to time. So notice what we've done here is we've taken a derivative equation and rearranged it into an integral equation, equation. Because what is the other term for integral? So we can just reverse it. So please realize anytime you have a derivative, you can also have an integral. So now we can figure out the work from 0 to 4 seconds. What is it going to be equal to? Tyler. The integral from 0 to 4 of 4t squared plus t dt. So please take the integral of 4t squared plus t with respect <coughs> to time. Eric? Matic? Um, is it a... Uh, So we're reviewing what we did last time. Remember, yeah. this is the antiderivative. It's the opposite of taking the derivative. So is it 8t cubed over 3? It is not 8t cubed over 3. Very close. Gary? 4t cubed. 4t cubed. You don't do anything to that 4. You're raising the exponent by 1 and dividing by that exponent. Plus. T squared over 2. That's okay. We took, we took the integral with respect to time. If you recall, this is something I told you guys will often the oh, guess and neglect. The bracket. The bracket. From 0 to 4 seconds. So you need, still need the limits. So again, we have from <coughs> 0 to 4. So we have final minus initial. Uh, we'll do it this way. So, yeah, I'll write it out. So 4t to the 
final cubed over 3 plus t final squared over 2 minus 4t initial uh, cubed over 3 plus t initial squared over 2 from 0 to 4. Again, this is the step that you can sometimes not write out, but I'm writing it out this time just because it's still pretty new for a lot of you. So 4 times 4 cubed over 3 plus 4 squared over 2 minus a 0. 280 over 3. Sorry, say again? 280 over 3. 280 over 3. We don't deal in fractions, we deal in real numbers, so what is that as a number? 93.3. 93.3, repeat it. So 93.3, 93.3 what, uh, Henry? Go back, remember what we figured out? Figured out the work works in joules. So 93.3 joules is the net work or the work done from zero to four seconds.